This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see the character arrays in C. Uh, in C, these character arrays are also called as the strings. So similar to the string uh, integer array or the floating point array, in C we can create this character arrays also. To create this character array, first uh, we need to type this keyword char. That's because you know our character array is gonna store the values of type characters. Then the name of the array. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna save my name in this array. That's why I'm gonna call uh, this uh, variable as the name then um, we need to add the square brackets here and here within this curly braces we're gonna initialize this array so a character constant must be written uh, within this single course that's why i'm gonna write a in single course and a, a comma then we're gonna write n then uh, we're gonna write i then we're gonna write l so this is how we can um, you know create a character array in c similar to the integer arrays we can print you know the particular element present in this character array for that purpose here we're gonna use this printf statement you know for the character type we have to use the format specify as the percentage c then we're gonna refer the element okay element that's gonna be name okay we need this square brackets and we're gonna refer element in the position zero that's gonna be a so save it compile it so as you can see here a will be printed so similarly we can print uh, uh, other values also so let me copy this and uh, uh, paste okay copy and paste uh, here i'm gonna make it to uh, three save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have printed a that's because you know uh, the element at the position 0 that's a and the element at the position uh, 3 that's gonna be 0 1 2 3 that's L so in C a character array is also called as a string so uh, for the string values the format specifier is percentage s uh, we can write percentage s here and we can refer this character array here so what what this gonna do is it's gonna print this string so save it compile and run it so as you can see here it has printed anil then x then some uh, uh, you know single quoted strings here that's because uh, in c a string is a collection of characters which is ended with a null value so here you know in our character array we have anil here a n i l here and we haven't specified a null value that's why the compiler is gonna uh, print the values until it encounters that null value so it just print some values you know outside this array so for that purpose we're gonna add a null value here we can add a null value using this uh, backslash and a zero so save it and compile and run it so as you can see here now we have printed only anil so close it another thing is if you are uh, uh, you know initializing a string here you can do it in uh, another type also uh, i'm gonna uh, write my surname it's gonna be surname that's the name of the array then within the square brackets then we're gonna write uh, the string value in double quotes so i'm gonna write shetty so here make a note that we don't need to add this you know uh, null string that's because you know the compiler is gonna add that null string automatically for the string values so save it you know similar to this name of the character array we can um, print uh, you know each element in this surname array also to demonstrate that i'm gonna make this one to percentage c and here i'm gonna refer this surname array then i'm gonna refer the first element that's gonna be surname of zero so compile it and run so as you can see here we have uh, only s printer here so the last thing we want to do is we just want to print uh, my name and my surname that's why we're gonna write percentage s here and i'm gonna refer this name here then uh, leave a space here then i'm gonna write uh, printf again percentage s then i'm gonna refer my surname okay save compile and run so as you can see here is anil shetty so this is about the character array of the strings in c so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see you in the next tutorial